Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another tutorial. This is Maya based. Um, haven't done a Maya tutorial in a little while now, so I thought it was a bit overdue. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a star field or a galaxy um, in Maya. Um, there's a couple of examples which I'm going to show you uh, picture wise what you can use. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to download um, an image. Um, of a galaxy from um, the internet so we've got a couple of examples here um, so we're looking at this one here um, obviously we've got our collapsed star um, but the problem with this image is there's too much going on so um, because we're going to be using an admitter uh, within Maya um, you know if you try and emit this um, sequence or this image you're just going to end up with um, a screen full of mess so these are the sort of images um, we sort of need to try or you need to try um, and stay away from um, obviously where we're going to have to be, do a couple of little things in Photoshop um, before we can actually uh, get into Maya um, but this is the sort of image um, you're sort of looking for um, it's quite clean it's quite crisp you know there's nothing going on you know on too much um, around the seat, um, around the edges, um, it's more based um, within the center um, of the image. So this is a sort of image um, that you're looking at, or you you probably need to to download. So first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to open up Photoshop. Um, we're going to import. Um, so we're going to open up our um, image. I do apologize if there's any noise in the back ground um, and this is our image and what we're going to do is we're going to actually turn this into black and white um, we're going to keep both the pictures um, because we're going to need to use them both so just in case you've never done this before what we're going to do with our picture is we're going to come up to image adjustments and then we're going to come up to come down all the way down to desaturate we're going to click on that now obviously it's turned it black and white but it needs to um, be a lot more um, potent it needs to be a lot more uh, darker so what we're going to do is we're going to come up to our brightness and contrast levels and what we're going to do is we're just going to punch our brightness straight up and we're going to punch our contrast up as well then we're going to select our curves and all we're going to do is we're going to bring the image straight down to about here so there's lots going on in the background and obviously um, it's going to be a lot more easier for Myers and Mitter um, to pick up this sequence uh, once we start okay so we're going to go to file um, we are going to save as and we're just going to call it Galaxy uh, BW black and white uh, save it to your preferred destination and then we're just going to click save like so uh, just shrink Photoshop for now just to make sure um, it has saved it so I've got Photoshop again go to file save as we're going to actually save it as a JPEG sequence okay so we're going to actually uh, save that as a uh, JPEG um, sorry about that um, and then we're going to click on save make sure it's set to maximum and then click OK I just had to pause it for a second because my phone went okay so uh, let me drop the old one here so now we've got our um, second image as you can see um, it's a lot, a lot more darker there's less for the emitter to go wrong when you, we actually work with this in Maya so um, we can go from there okay and obviously the difference with this I mean this wouldn't work this is another black and white image um, this black and white sequence would not work because it's not dark enough so you sort of look in if you can see the difference in tone um, is, a, is a big difference so this is the sort of tone we're looking for okay so now let's open up Maya um, let's bring our grid all the way down and what we're going to do is we're first of all we're going to create a plane oh if I can get to it and we're just going to fill the whole grid up with our plane like 
So, so we've got our plane. Sorry, my kids are kids are retard in the background. He's shouting for no bloody reason. Um, and then we're going to switch our um, selection to dynamics, and then we're going to come up to particles and come up come down to emit from object. We're going to click the little box because we need to do some um, authorize uh, or, um, settings in this. Uh, our emitter type we're going to change it from omni to surface and then we're going to punch up our rate uh, by two more zeros so scroll down everything else is okay and then we're going to just hit create now when we press play as you can see um, our emitters working the way we want like so okay so that's cool okay so uh, next step, um, we are going to, um, this is all our emitter attributes, okay? So we're just going to scroll down and here we have something called particle color. Now what we need to do is we need to add our first layer by clicking this. So we're going to click on this little checker box, then we're going to click on file and then we're going to come up to our image name and then we're going to click on open. We're going to search for our first image which is um, our Galaxy One, which is here. Um, and then we're just gonna click on open. Now, what you'll notice is nothing's happened. Absolutely nothing's happened. It's because we need to tell Maya that this is a color sequence and we need to add it to um, our scene. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna come up to show and then we're gonna get rid of our um, plane. Um, and then we're going to go to sorry show we're going to get rid of our polygon like so so we just clear here and then we're going to show again and then we're just going to get rid of our grid okay so we've just got a standard nothing going on so we're going to select on here and go back to our admitter and where we've selected for our first color we're going to click on inherit color like so so we're basically inheriting the color from the picture now what we need to do obviously is bring in our black and white image and that's going to give us our shape. So if we do the same sort of scenario, we're going to click on this, click on file, click on open, and then we're going to click our black and white sequence here. And we're just going to click open as so. But same sort of scenario, we need to um, tell Maya um, what, its base, what its attributes are, so what it's adding. So we're going to click here to enable texture rate like so okay so that's looking pretty pretty good so now we're going to go to particle shape or oh, let's let's just check something quickly um, okay so we're going to click on a particle shape one and then we're going to come down to our pre particle array attributes and we're going to do is click on opacity here um, no not that one uh, we can click on color sorry um, and we're going to select this one here uh, this 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 setting here add per particle attribute just going to click on that and we're going to add the attribute as so now hopefully when we play it back we're going to have a very 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 nice effect as you can see what it's doing it's gradually working our start into shape now what we're going to do now is we're going to punch our keyframe up to about 500 and we're going to go back to the beginning and then we're going to click on play again and it all depends how um, how long your sequence you want your sequence to run for but you can sort of put it in a position um, which befits yourself and that's it really we can add a camera to this we can rotate around the star or around the galaxy and then once put um, you know like a star background to this um, let's punch this up to a thousand actually what we can do is um, we can go back to our meter and we can bring our our, our particles per second up and it's just a taste of playing around with your settings to get the star um, looking the 
the best it possibly can. We can also zoom into the star here. And as you can see, as you play it, it gives you a nice feeling of a galaxy. Like so. You can also, um, you know, select your distance, minimum distance. So you can have it deeper or you can have it max distance. We go to here. Like so. But we can sort of rotate this now. And as you can see, once we rotate it, um, put it into position, you can see we've got the spiral um, effect of the star within our scene. So that's it really guys, that's how you create a galaxy um, using Admitter in a Maya 2015. So thanks for listening guys, again I do apologise about the retard in the background, you can't help it, he's only free. Um, and I'll see you guys in the very next tutorial.